Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is in your neck of the woods, this is Tony, and welcome to today's video. So if you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing, hitting that like, hitting that bell icon so you don't miss a thing. We're on the push for 8k subs, we are right at the finish line, and when we get to 10k, we're going to do our face reveal. So for today's build, we're going to do the Retro Revenant. Look at that thing, it is a beauty. We're going to be rocking the Toxin and the Bane on there. For our modules, we will be using Nuclear Amplifier, Last Stand, Anti-Control, and Advanced Repair. For our modules, um, and then for our skills, we have Ricardo's Enthusiasm. He gains 25% speed boost while he is in his ability. And for the rest of our skills, Cautious Pilot, Roadhog, Dodger, Armor Expert, Death Survivor, Tough Guy, and last but not least, Foolhardy Quartermaster. Now on to the dronage. So for our drone, we will be using the Nebula Drone. This thing is an absolute beast on high damage fix. When you take 100,000 damage within 3 seconds, you repair 58%. That's huge! We got the suppressor chip there. We got on repair unit defense times two and last but not least on mild damage absorber and that's going to get the job done without further ado oh before i forget happy birthday to the torn pool boys hope you're having a great day happy birthday to you and let's hop right on into the game all right everybody here we are dropping into factory map the same factory where they produce the acid they put in the toxin and the bane weapons soon we will be getting the venom weapons on the 7.5 update i believe we are moving up with our new retro revenant with the new ricardo gonzalez pilot the setup is looking very very good i don't say so myself trying to select our first target here there he is pop in on him we kind of spawned at a bad spot um, when we teleported over, we are kind of hanging on the edge there. That's why I didn't want to move, because I didn't want to fall off and then be vulnerable if I got hung up on that ledge. Moving in to keep this beacon white. So they don't take it. Trying to fight through all these shields and different stuff that's going on. Now this is a true brawler robot in every sense of the word. Some people are saying this thing is weak, that it needs a, a buff or something like that. Man, I don't know what you guys are talking about, because almost every time I spawn this thing in, it lasts like three, four, five minutes. This thing is a tank, guys. So if I'm being honest right now, I think I prefer the Vasilia Maximova pilot a little bit more over this one. Um, the reason being is she heals at the end of the ability based on how much damage you do. If you go in there and do a whole bunch of damage, you are going to do a nice amount of healing. I think that pilot is better overall for brawling and survivability, but the speed boost of this one is definitely advantageous in some points. They both have their uh, functionality for sure. Alright, we get the triple kill. And it's funny because I've been running these side by side. This one and the one with the other pilot. And at first, I was consistently doing better with the one with the Vasilia Maximova pilot. And then today, while recording, I started doing better with this one. Why? I'm not sure. Is it a coincidence? Maybe. All right, turning around, trying to get some shots on this guy. Teleporting in to finish off the deal. Can we get it? Come on, boom! We get the Rampage, Rampage, Rampage! All right, all right, all right sidestepping moving grooving going back into cover boom we get the god like very nice okay this fafnir is going up we got to be very very cautious now hit that heel so we don't lose our last stand saving that last stand for as long as possible is crucial when you're in these close quarters brawls 
Okay, we're gonna teleport on this guy. Let's see if we can get finish this kill off. Come on, boom! We get the Beyond guy like we are so close. One more for the living legend, baby. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, purple shields are up. I'm gonna back on out, back on out. Now I'm gonna select my target so I can go in and finish it off smooth. Let me see what these guys' HP is looking like. Let's see if I could drop down drop this guy down to last stand or very low health before I teleport in we're gonna go for the kill come on baby can we take him out can we take him out oh we target switch on accident there this tier is sidestepping us come on baby hitting him with those shots what someone stole the kill that was our living legend they stole our living legend could you believe it oh my gosh jeez louise papa cheese and then we get taken out to add insult to injury that's why i was waiting to teleport in because i didn't have a lot of health and i knew there had a lot of guys there so i had to seize the moment and um pounce when there was somebody low health that i could take out and we ended up losing that kill how unfortunate man i'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek on the screen right now we got the erebus uh this build is kind of this is my favorite one, to be honest, with the Erebus. I like this a lot better than the Prisma. I think this is much more um, effective, much more reliable, much more fun to play. I'm thinking about maybe adding one or two more speed, maybe one more speed skill um, to this robot because I think this speed is what holds it back. You can't maneuver, you can't duck dodge in and out of uh, cover and stuff like that. So we'll have to see. I think this robot could be interesting. Ooh, we get the Titan Slayer. Very nice. If they come out with a better pilot for it. I mean, this pilot's cool and everything, but I think uh, there's a lot of room for growth with a new pilot. Okay, boom. Hitting him with our ability. Backing on up. Trying to take this dude out. Oh, no. Somebody else gets the kill. Right, trying to get those shots. We're gonna wait here to select our target, hit him with our built in weapons, and now we're gonna try to laser him down. Laser him down, hitting our heels to preserve ourselves while we're standing out here trying to take that guy down. We were not able to finish that Titan off, but we did a big chunk of damage to him. nice we get another titan slayer very very nice here yeah i actually prefer these so much more over the uh, prisma weapons yeah the prismas have double the range of this but the reload is double as well and to be honest there's not so many maps um that you really could utilize that full 1100 meters or whatever it is and boom we get taken out as you can see like this thing is very very fragile all right Popping in with the other Revenant. This one has the Facilia Maximova pilot. Nice. We got this guy here. Hitting him up that acid. Burning up his physical shield and his hull at the same time. Charging up that nuclear amplifier. Very good. Now let's see what we can do over here. So I don't know if any of you guys out there are struggling playing the Revenant. Hopefully some of these tips and tactics, hopefully you could watch to see how I play it, when I use my ability, when I use my heals, things like that to help you out a little bit more on the battlefield. It was tricky, I would say, to uh, learn and get used to it. Um, mostly it was the timing of the ability, when and where to use it, and when and where to use your healing. So most of the time I like to use my heal um, a couple seconds after I teleport in um, and if I don't take on a lot of damage during the fight I'll save my heal because sometimes you get um, a lot of damage when you don't have your ability ready. So in order to um, stop from losing a ton of HP sometimes it's good to use the heal and then but it benefits you most while you're in your ability while you're taking a bunch of damage sonic included um that stuff could all be healed back which is amazing and the only uh robot in the game could that could do that besides the demeter and you need a special pilot for that 
and it's only um, 10% that you can heal back. This is everything, so that's crazy. All right, now here we are taking off with our Zmedge Mirror Mets. Boom, we get the kill. Trying to search around, check our next target. Our teammates gonna grab that beacon. This guy is locking us down. We're just gonna have to sit there and take that damage right now. Nothing we can do about it. Hit him with the EMP so we can't use his ability. We're gonna go up, but he's just gonna stay behind cover right there. We're not really gonna be able to do any more damage to him. It looks like we got this game well in the bag. They're down to their last player, and it is pretty much a wrap at this point. Shout out to this guy. He is not going down without a fight. He is making it difficult. He's drawing this out. Much respect to you, buddy. You played your butt off in this match. Taking one more flight up in the air to check out the scenery, and it is a wrap. Since we weren't able to achieve the living legend in this game, we're going to have to try one more game and see if we can get that legend, baby. We're going to have to get that legend. 14 kills, 7.5 million damage, 4 beacons, not too shabby. Shout out to everybody on the blue and the red team. Respect to all. Alright, let's hop on to the second gameplay. Alright guys, here we are. We're going to drop into Castle Map. We need to get Vengeance. We need to get some redemption after the last match. You guys remember, we got the living legend stolen from us. We can't have that happen again. Coming out strong again with the retro revenant to start it off. Push it on up to the home beacon. We are slow as molasses. <laughs> this guy is going to capture center by the time we get to our home beacon. Now I see why they initially had the teleportation of this robot 500 meters because this thing is so darn slow. It needed it. But the community complained. It got pushed down to 350. And now it is what it is. We got to live with it. All right, here we go. Brawling down. Oh, we got a Hellburner down here. Shout out to the Hellburner squad. Much love, much respect for the Hellburners out there double kill very nice very very nice okay boom hit that teleport get up in this dude's face trying to take him down oh what's he rocking a zeus on there triple kill very nice very very nice we got to take this typhon out you know how i feel and you guys know typhon is one of those robots you just got to take out when you see it because if you put him on the penal mind list he's gonna make you pay for it big time and that's a fact Okay, hitting that uh, mothership heal. Okay, this guy's got those weapons. He's got those sonics, so we want to go into our ability. Because while we're in our ability, we could heal all that sonic damage. Um, if we didn't do that, any damage he did to us, we would have been stuck. And we couldn't re repair from it. This way, we were able to save most of our life and our foolhardy. Boom, the foolhardy just kicked in right there. See, we, hit, we would have lost it if we didn't hit our ability at that other time. Now we're going back in. Hit that heal. Try to try to work this guy down. Ooh, someone stole that kill, man. We did 99%. But one of our teammates got that last one. But look at us melting down this shell like it's nothing, man. Once you get those nuclear amplifiers rocking, uh, the toxin and bane cut right through those shells. Make short work of them. So as you see... We were on a godlike, and then we fought that Fenrir and somebody else. We lost a ton of health, so our kill streak started over. So we already had four. Boom! We are on a double kill once again, starting the streak back up. Let's see if we can take this dude out. Ooh, nice triple kill! He got melted. This, this robot is such a tank. It's so much fun to just go in there and bang and brawl. I love it. Boom. Teleport in. This dude trying to run around and make a mockery out of us. <laughs> We're not going to let it happen. 
We're gonna use our mothership again, get a little extra heals. Boom! We're on the Rampage, Rampage, Rampage! Gotta love it, baby. Gotta love it. Okay. Teleporting in. Oh, man! They, someone stole that kill. We were about to get that kill. Boom! We're on the Godlike. Can we get the Beyond Godlike? Can we get it? Oh, my gosh. They're dropping in Titans and everything else right here, right now. This is no bueno, guys. I'm trying to run and get to this guy's shield to take him down, but he was backing up. Um, he must have had some speed skills on there because he was moving at good pace. Boom! We get the Beyond guy. Like, can we get the Legend? Oh, no. I wanted to teleport to that guy. He went into his uh, his stealth ability. We couldn't get him. Teleport in on this Ravanya. Can we take him out? Oh, come on, come on. He goes into his ability at the last second. Boom! We get the Living Legend. Yes! Redemption. We got it. Can we get another Legend? Can we get another Legend? Oh my gosh, and we get taken out. I cannot believe it. We had less than 25% health. And we had to restart the entire streak over again. Um, because it took too long with that Fenrir. I can't believe we were able to start a whole streak over from scratch with that little amount of health and get a living legend again while fighting solo in their spawn. That's kind of crazy, guys. Kind of crazy we pulled that off. All right, now you can see we got this um, Erebus setup rocking right now. It's always, always, always dangerous to, to pull this setup out. Um, the Prisma more, especially more with that setup, the Hell is much more versatile. I use this just like my uh, Hawk build with the Shield Breaker on it, and it serves the same role in my hangar. Um, Anti-Hawk, Anti-Fafnir, Anti-Titan, lock down whatever's moving out there. Um, that's what this thing does, and it does a very good job at it. Not to mention, we have that built-in weapon that goes out to like 800 meters. It locks, suppresses, and freezes, and it has a DOT. No, it locks, suppresses, and does DOT. It doesn't freeze. It doesn't freeze. I'm sorry. Nice. We get that kill. Trying to get an angle. Boom! We get the double kill. We're doing a little something here. We're, we're, we're getting up in our groove. We're getting in the zone. You can work You can work this map very well from the center pipe position. You got an eye on down low at the bridge. You can see the bridge up top. You can see their spawn both sides from where they're coming out. Um, this is a very, very advantageous position. If someone uh, gets into this position, uh, they could really lock down the center of this map very, very effectively, especially with some weapons like this. We're playing a little aggressive with this thing. We don't need to play like this. Um, boom! We're on the Rampage. Oh my gosh. Can we get this dude on the way down? Oh no. Playing a little aggressive only because I'm trying to make something happen. I'm not a camper. Um, I, I could do it, but it's just really not fun. So I like to press the pace. I like to try to cause um, a little confusion. Um, when you play aggressive, if you, if you play weird, if you play loose... It um it makes people go out there to try to attack you, so it creates more situations for you to, to do damage on them and pull off some good kills and stuff like that. Now if I was just to sit all the way back there, you know, somebody may come eventually, but I don't know, that's not fun to me. I like to get up in there, mix it up, shake things up, move and groove, act a fool. You know how we get down around here. Just have some fun. Oh, man, we are all up in this Noden's face right now. I thought we were going to be able to get that kill. Can we take this? Oh, my gosh. This guy with this Kistin and Balava, he's taking all the kills right now. <laughs> he's just sitting back there like, yeah, guys, go uh, do that work for me. Get him down real low, and then I'll just finish him off. <laughs> nice. We got the double kill. Man, this thing performed actually pretty well this match. I'm pleasantly surprised pleasantly surprised to say the least and that is a wrap ladies and gentlemen let's take a look at the scoreboard and see how we did this time it was mostly with the uh the new retro revenant and only a little bit with the erebus 6.4 million damage 16 kills two beacons not too shabby hope everybody has a beautiful blessed day appreciate you all and keep coming back